The proofing language determines which dictionary and grammar rules Microsoft Word uses for spelling and grammar checking. You want to set the proofing language to align with the language your paper or article must be written in. Be aware that there are several variants in the English language. Choose the one that aligns with your specific requirements. You can set the language for a specific block of text or for the entire document or for all future documents. To set for a block of text, select the text and change the language. To set for um, the entire document, set the default proofing language and that will actually set it also for future documents based on the same template. For this demonstration, I'll first set the default proofing language to be Canadian English um, because that's what I usually work in and I will then set the specific paragraph, the one below, to Canadian French. So let's start with setting the default language to Canadian English. So first we're going to go up to the reviewing panel review panel and then see the language tab here and we're going to click language and then we're going to click on set proofing language. Once we have it up, um, the ones that you commonly use will end up at the top but if they're not you'll see in here they're an alphabetical listing of all of the possible languages um, that you could set your system to. So I'm going to click mine to English Canada and I'm going to click set as default. This will set the default language. Now a pop-up window appears and it's going to ask me do I want to set this in the default template? What this will do in the normal template, and this will this will automatically update the default language in the template such that any new document created off of that template, so if you do File New, um, you'll automatically use that language. And so yes, we're going to do that as our default, and we're going to click OK. Now let's look at specific text. Now I want to look at this text here, which of course just fucked because it, er, it's got all the underlining because it's in, in French. So I want to set the specific text to French. So what I'm going to do is I highlight only that text. You'll note that in the first example that I did, I didn't highlight anything. That's important. If you want it to um, apply t as the default to the whole document, you don't highlight anything. If you want it to apply only to specific text, you highlight that specific text. So I'm going to highlight the specific text. Again, on the review panel, language, and I hit set proofing language and this time I'm going to search down because of course I'm looking for French here so we'll go down to F and can it Canada French and I click OK and then it cleans up and discovers the French and there's a couple of typos in my French and that's all there is to setting the proofing language.